Hello everyone, my name is Kwan. This video is about the introduction to WebGL. Today's topic is WebGL coordinate. Uh, in the script, uh, we will compare the WebGL coordinates against the canvas coordinate. Uh, we will use two canvas that are overlay on top of each other. One canvas is for drawing the 2D context. The other canvas is using to draw big WebGL. In the example, we also have the mouse event action to plot down the location of WebGL and the canvas coordinate. Here is a plot of both WebGL coordinate as well as the canvas coordinate. In this example, we set the canvas size to 400 by 300 pixel. So 400 pixel in width and 300 pixel in height. As you probably know, the origin of the canvas is set up the top left corner. As you increase X, so you move to what the right size. For the Y, as you increase the Y, you move downward, not upward. Okay, you move downward as you increase in Y. The maximum range of the WebGL coordinate is from minus one to one. So you cannot have number larger than one or any number that's smaller than minus one. Everything normalized to minus one to one. In this example, uh, we set the uh, WebGL size equal to the canvas size. Also, the uh, origin of the WebGL is not right at the top left corner as in canvas, but right in the middle uh, of the canvas. In the example, we have 400 uh, by 300. So half of this is 200 by 100 which is the origin of the WebGL coordinate. So in this corner for the WebGL coordinates is minus 1 and 1. And on the top right, the coordinate of the WebGL is 1 and 1. For the bottom, the uh, WebGL coordinate is 1 and minus 1. Remember that uh, the origin right here, here is minus y, here plus y. And on the same token, on this side you have plus x and this side minus x. This is our first script. Uh, it had nothing to do with WebGL yet. We will add the command for WebGL later on. But for now, uh, we want to use this script to plot down the position of the mouse cursor. If you click now on uh, the mouse, you can see that this, uh, this is the position of uh, the canvas. If I plot here, it should be close to zero. Since this video clip is about WebGL, we will not spend a lot of time explaining about the HTML canvas. But we will go over the necessary stuff to uh, uh, relate to WebGL coordinate. In this script, uh, we have the function called main, and uh, we use document get element by ID canvas. This is a canvas tag, so we get the canvas tag name canvas zero. So we get the canvas in, and the next thing we do is a get context 2D. Remember the WebGL is 3D. Here we got 2D. And once you get context in, you can start drawing uh, the text of the rectangle. On this uh, command here, mouse down is the uh, interaction even. When we click down the mouse, uh, we call the function uh, m down. And this is a function m down. E-cline x and e-cline y is the current location 
up the mouse cursor when you click and we bring it out that location with this command now uh, we got the canvas script working uh, next we're going to add the webgl command there so in this script uh, basically we add one more canvas okay uh, the old one canvas zero the new one canvas one this canvas one is overlay canvas zero uh, you can use z order z index to uh, overlay them but for now i use position absolute to overlay the two canvas next is the two shader code ignore for the moment we come back later on let's go down the script and here's the own uh, path we have not changed and here we add some more stuff in here okay now we use the document get element by id canvas one so we get the second canvas in and we put in vavi c and v and now for the context we don't use 2d anymore we use a web gl so uh, we have one canvas for the context in 2d we have one canvas for the gl uh, 3d stuff but for this uh, script we only do 2d in web gl i just moved uh, this uh, command for a uh, drawing canvas 0 to a function so we can see more clearly i put into a function called draw canvas 0 and i put somewhere down here nothing change so uh, now you can see more clearly i have two canvas uh, 0 and 1 and one i put in 2d the other one i put into webgl the next thing is uh, we initialize the shader so basically the webgl's uh, work is that you create a, a, a program or instructions of, and the stream of data so the initial shader is basically create a program of uh, instructions uh, the first thing you need for the shader is of uh, the shader code you have the vertex code and the fragment code uh, we will not go uh, a lot of detail here we want to concentrate on the coordinate uh, for now you can look at other video to understand the shader program typically the uh, function initiator is uh, keep on repeating so normally you can put in program but I want to put in here so the uh, script is self-contained this is a function in the init, in the init shader basically uh, it create uh, the vertex shader objects and it create a fragment object and it link together uh, to create a program and it return the program here's the program that we will use okay. now for the vertex code what is important here is that we create an attribute of a variable for the shader uh, called underscore x y okay. and uh, the uh, output of the vertex shader is gl position which has a vector of 4 and here we have x y which vector of 3 so we need to add 1 right now we add 1 0 once we got the program uh, the next thing we need to do is that uh, remember the uh, this code here are for the uh, shading language of glsl it has its own uh, variable okay but on the uh, main function here is a javascript variable so somehow we have to link the two together so we want to get the uh, number final number from javascript to the shader language and this is command uh, is to link the shader variable uh, underscore xy here to our javascript variable xy and we uh, uh, when we uh, call the command uh, mouse down here we put xy here so we can use later on in the function m down when we click the mouse um, 
when we click the mouse, uh, we uh, first we got uh, the mouse coordinate in the canvas uh, coordinate, okay? Not in WebGL. Uh, we have to translate those uh, canvas coordinate into a WebGL coordinate and this command doing that uh, basically for the uh, WebGL X coordinate we just basically scale down uh, to the canvas width and uh, we ship halfway so that's why you see multiply by 2 and minus 1 for the Y direction we do the same thing except that we have to put a minus sign here remember that the uh, WebGL uh, Y direction is opposite of the uh, canvas, so that's what the minus size. Once we get X Y here, uh, we uh, bring it out and uh, with this command. Okay, on this command, basically we uh, do the final value assignment. Uh, remember the X Y zero in here, and this is the we actually give the value of the mouse coordinate uh, to the uh, shader uh, variable underscore xy and finally we draw with the two L points uh, let's see what this script doing here the output of script uh, as you can see, uh, when I click the mouse, uh, that's the dot. The dot is uh, created by the WebGL, and the text is created by uh, uh, the canvas uh, 2D context. Okay, uh, the green or the blue color is basically the uh, canvas coordinate. The red one is a WebGL coordinate. As you can see, when I click the the mouse, is go away. Uh, we're gonna fix next. Because WebGL operate on uh, intermediate mode, uh, not on retain mode. Uh, in intermediate mode, mean that once the object has been drawn and it forgot. Uh, this is same thing similar to a two D context. So in order to redraw, what save we have to save and redraw. And this script uh, here we add those. Uh, first thing we uh, create a var point so we remember. Uh, this is saving the dot when we click. So when we click we, uh, this command push, I'm going to set x, y. Every time we click, uh, the point array keeps increasing. And here's a command uh, to draw on the, uh, on the dot when we click. So here is the upper script. So now when we uh, click, you can see that uh, the web chair remember this uh, dot right down here. On the previous script, the dot is gone. We have not mentioned a lot about the point size. The point size is basically the size of the dot. Right now we set 5, you set uh, let's say 20. Uh, we can see a larger dot. Uh, let's try. Okay, larger dot. Okay. Now on the vertex, that's this how we set the color. Let's say we want a red. So we change to this is RGB uh, format. Okay. So we get red equal one. So we're gonna see red. The last thing we want to do is to convert this uh, square into a circle. This just look better. Now to convert the uh, square into circle we have to into go into the fragment code. Uh, we uh, first we calculate the distance. Uh, then uh, if the distance less then five. Then we draw the color and we discuss. So, thank you for watching the video. See you next time.